welcome to the Royal Calcutta Turf Club for the first day of the cold weather season, the first day of the autumn meeting on uh, Wednesday 30th October 2024 race preview. The first race of the afternoon is the Nella Handicap for horses rated 61 to 86, rate 41 to 66 eligible to be run over a distance of about 1600 meters. We got four runners going to post for this one. We got Dandi Satagra and Dragon School who took on each other in race number 50. Dandi Satagra who was a winner in earlier start and Dragon's Gold who had won a couple of states, uh, starts earlier in the season. Last start, Dandi Satagra after racing in 8th spot finished on 3rd and I catching 3rd. Dragon's Gold who was in 4th spot dropped back a placing and eventually finished on 5th. The winner here was Blackstone who eventually got the race by almost 4 lengths. Number 3 is Ivano. A couple of stars for Ivano in the monsoon season where Ivano in race number 42 over 1200 meters finished on 6th. In race number 48, the one we are looking at was in front as they entered the home straight then tried to battle on but eventually dropped back and eventually finished on 3rd. The winner here was Dandi Satagra with another runner in this race. Number 4 is Wonderful and Wonderful really had a wonderful season, couple of wins and uh, 3 placed efforts in the 7 starts Wonderful had. Last start was in race number 66 where Wonderful was a tad slowly out of the gates, was in 7 spot as they entered the home straight, then made some late gains and eventually got into the place money, finished on 3rd. The winner here was Nautica. We move on to the second race of the year after the gorgeous handicap for horses rated 1 to 26 to be ridden by jockeys of Indian National Andy to be run over a distance of about 1100 meters. First up we got Marcolini. Marcolini had a couple of starts in the monsoon season where first start finished on third in a small field of three. Last start was in race number 55, went over 1200 meters, was in th third spot as they entered the home straight then started to drop back and eventually finished on fifth. The winner here was Sky First, who had about four lengths to spare on the second horse. Mark Bellini today ridden by Imran Chisti. Number 3 Lightning Charlie. Lightning Charlie had one solitary start in the monsoon season and what a start that was was leading the pack and drifted out of a straight course but still had almost seven and a half lengths to spare on the second finishing historic Lightning Charlie today again ridden by Arman Khan. Number 4 is Line Up and Collect, earlier known as Perfect Gentleman, had a start under the new name in race number 62 where it was in 10th spot as they entered the home straight, then made some late gains but just missed out the boat, finished on 5th. The winner here was NRI Fantasy who got the race in a 3-way photo. Number 5 is Magnite, has 4 starts in the monsoon season, best starts was perhaps the second start it had of the season where in race number 36 went over 1200 meters and finished on 3rd, last start was over 1200 meters again and race number 63 was in 4th spot for most while but into the last 200 meters dropped back and eventually finished on 6th of 12 runners, the winner here was over the line. We got Elite Tiger Blood. This is from race number 54. This was Elite's uh, fourth start of the season. Couple of place staffers, including this start where Elite was traveling in fifth spot for most while, then came wide of the track and eventually finished on third. Tiger Blood earlier start finished on fourth over here. Tiger Blood, who was in sixth spot, eventually finished on last of eight, and it was observed after the race that Tiger Blood had burst a blood vessel. Number 8 is Diamond Gold, has had 5 starts in the monsoon season, did not place any of the starts except for the first one where finished on 3rd, since then 4 unplaced efforts. The last start is in race number 60, Diamond Gold was in 2nd spot, was very racing very prominently but started to really drop back into the last 150 meters and eventually finished on 7th. The winner here was Fortune Warrior who got the race by almost length and a half. 
finally we got number 9 fair council couple of starts for fair council after coming down from southern india this both starts for the monsoon track race number 21 finished on 8 behind tender hard over 1200 meters last start went over 1400 meters in race number 27 was in eighth spot when asked for an effort drop back a placing and just finished on second last the winner here was aero pearly fair council ridden by p uday kiran Moving on to the third race of the afternoon, the Pretty Woman Handicap for horses rated 21 to 46, rated 1 to 26, eligible to be run by jockeys of internationality to be run over a distance of about 1400 meters. Couple of runners this is from race number 62, Jaul Afed by the book. Jaul Afed, who was in ninth spot, came up with a late dash and uh, forced a photo with the uh, by the book, and the judges couldn't separate them. By the book, who was in second spot, and got a dead heat second placing between them. The winner here was NRI Fantasy Jaul Afed today, ridden by Imran Chisti and by the book by J H Arul. Number four is Shiza Star. Three starts for Shiza Star in the monsoon season. First up in race number seven, finished on fourth. Race number eighteen, finished on sixth. The last start is in race number fifty-three. The one we are looking at was in third spot as they entered the home straight, then dropped back a placing and eventually finished on fourth of ten runners. The winner here was Main Street, who had about four lengths to spare on the second finishing horse. We got three runners. This is from race number sixty-three in the monsoon season. Emperor Shoka, sporting trainer, and Monju's Mustach. Monju's Mustach, definitely the eye catcher. And Emperor Sugar, who eventually finished on 10, sporting trainer after racing in 11th spot, made up some placings and finished on 9th. Monjus Mustaz was in 6th spot, came up wide of the track and then ran out of real estate, had to be switched towards the inside and then started to charge home, but finished on 3rd. The winner here was over the line. Number eight is sensational. Couple of stars for sensational in the monsoon season. First up in race number thirty-three, finished on fifth behind Pin Supernova. Last start was in race number fifty-five. Was in second spot as they entered the home straight, then started to drop back slightly and eventually finished on third. The winner here was Sky Force, who won the race very impressively. Sensational today, ridden by P. Trevor. Number nine is Shea is running after a long layoff. Was uh, scheduled to start in a race, but then uh, was withdrawn. And this run we are looking at is from race number 157 in the 22-23 season, where Shea was in uh, second spot, then uh, dropped back and eventually finished on fifth. This is a run which is practically about two years back. Today, Shea ridden by P. U. D. Kiran. Moving on to the fourth race of the afternoon, the feature race of the day, the Hilliard Cup for horses rated 81 and above, rated 61 to 86, eligible to be run over a distance of about 1,200 meters. First up, we got Gazino and Amazonia, both ran in race number 57, where Amazonia was in fourth spot, stayed on in fourth. Gazino, who had a few eye-catching starts before this run, where Gazino was uh, in sixth spot, then dropped back and eventually finished on eighth of eight runners. The winner here was Meropi, who had about six and a half lengths on the second place toss. Number three is Clifford. Started the monsoon season with a win in race number five, where he got the measure of Atosha. Last start was in race number nineteen, where Clifford was in second spot, then came up with a run towards the inside and eventually finished on third. The winner here was Flying Scotsman, who eventually had about three and a half lengths to spare. Number four is Blackstone reeled off uh, three wins on the trot in the winter season last time out. Then uh, in the monsoon season, started off with a second place effort behind Meropi in race number forty-three. The start we are looking at is from race number fifty-six, where Blackstone was in second spot as they entered the home straight, took charge into the last two fifty meters, and then pulled away. Eventually, had almost four lengths to spare on Galacticus. Blackstone again, ridden by Ace and Dish.
Number five, a sea lion has three starts in the monsoon season. Had a second place effort in race number 29 behind Dragon's Goal. Last start, sea lion went on a start to finish mission and held on by the closest possible margin by a probable nose to Stormy Ocean, who came very late into the race. And sea lion today ridden by Arshella. Number 6 is King's Retreat, House of the Season is King's Retreat, 3 wins on the bounce, race number 31 got the measure of Raffaello, race number 42 got the measure of Wonderful and finally the last race of the season King's Retreat was languishing in the wrong end of the field and when asked for an effort to accelerate eventually had 3.5 loans to spare from K-Star. Moving on to the 5th race of the day, the Secret Fire Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66, rated 21 to 46, eligible to be run over a distance of about 1100 meters. First of all, we're looking at a couple of runners, horse number 2, K-Star, 5, Zuccardi. K-Star, who was a runaway leader in this race, eventually got caught up into the last 200 meters by King's Retreat. Zuccardi, who took the turn very prominently and stayed on in 4th, and uh, today Zuccardi ridden by Ankush and K-Star. Written by Krishit Bhagat. Moving on to number 3, Leatherback, the mount of Arul GH. Leatherback, uh, this run we are looking at is from race number 6, where Leatherback was in second spot and eventually finished on second to drag his goal. Leatherback had subsequently run in race number 25, where it won uh, but was disqualified after it pos tested positive. Number 4 is All Time Legend. 3 starts for All Time Legend in the monsoon season. First up in uh, race number 16 finished on 3rd behind Global Influence. Then in race number 25 finished on 7th. Last start was in race number 41. Was in 5th spot as they entered the home straight. Then came up with a run and finished on the board. 4th. The winner here was Fancy Nancy who got the race by a long neck. We got number 6 is Celtic Harlequin. Celtic Harlequin had a solitary start in the monsoon season in race number 42, was in 7th spot, then made some late gains and eventually finished on 5th. The winner was uh, King's Retreat. Celtic Harlequin today ridden by Imran Chisti. Number 7 is Tenderheart. Tenderheart uh, was winner in a uh, couple of stars in the monsoon season race number 21, race number 49 respectively. Last start was in race number 66. The one we are looking at was in 6th spot. Then dropped back eventually finished on 7th of 12 runners. The winner here was Nautica and Tenderheart today ridden by Vinay Jaswal. Number 8 is Bundle of Charm, had a solid free start in the monsoon season in race number 20 where Bundle of Charm was in 4th spot and came up with a run and finished on just a second by a short neck. The winner was Cristaldo. Finally, we got number 9, Swift Lady, who gave the monsoon season a miss uh, but was a winner of a couple of stars in the winter season last time out. In race number 47, got the measure of East Side. And race number 83, got the measure of Indian Tiger. The run we are looking at is race number 50, 154. And in that race, Swift Lady was in 8th spot, eventually finished on 8th. Moving on to the last race of the day, the PRTO Handicap for horses rate 21 to 46, rate 1 to 26, eligible to be ridden by jockeys of Indian nationality to be run over a distance of about 1100 meters. Three runners, this is from race number 49, we got number 1, Caitlin, number 4, Dubai Station and 10, Angel Light. Caitlin, who was in second spot as they entered the home straight, tried to get a passage towards the inside and eventually finished on third. Number four, Dubai Station. This was Dubai Station's second start of the season. Both time has been unplaced, including this start where it finished on nine. And number 10, uh, Angel Light, who had two stars as well and both unplaced. This start, Angel Light finished on eighth of 11 runners. The winner here was Tender Heart.
Number 2 is Saranaika was winner in an earlier start in the monsoon season in race number 37. This start we are looking at is from race number 63 where Saranaika was in third spot as they entered the home straight then came up with a run on the wide outside and just missed out and finished on second. The winner here was over the line and Saranaika today ran by Imran Chisti, drawn 11. Couple of runners again, number 3 Dancing Queen and number 11 Indian Tiger. Dancing Queen, this was the second start for Dancing Queen in the monsoon season. Both time has been unplaced and uh, this race was in 5th spot as they entered the home straight, dropped back and eventually finished on 6th. And uh, the other runner was number 11 which is uh, Indian Tiger who had uh, quite a few starts in the season and unplaced in each of his uh, 5 starts. We uh, finished on 9th of 12 runners, the winner was NRI Fantasy. Number 5 is King Roger. 3 starts for King Roger during the monsoon season. All 3 starts was unplaced in race number 4 finished on 5th, race number 27, 24 finished on 7th and last start was in race number 53 was in 8th spot made up a placing and eventually finished on 7th of 10 runners. The winner here was Main Street who drew away from them and eventually had 4 lengths to spare. We got number 6 is UV. The run we are looking at is from the penultimate start UV had. The last start UV, uh, as the gates opened, the jockey got unbalanced and uh, dropped off the horse. The run we are looking at is from race number 10 where UV was in 7th spot, made up a couple of placing and eventually finished on 5th. The winner there was Cristaldo. UV today the amount of Sonu Mishra who claims 4 kilos off. Number 7 is Liban. Liban had a couple of eye-catching starts before finally coming good in race number 40 where Liban was in 5th spot then came out with a dazzling run down the center and eventually had 3 parts of a length to spare over Vince Angel. Liban today the mound of Ankush. Number 8 is Monarchy. Couple of starts for Monarchy. Race number 11 finished on 6. Race number 24 was almost planted at the gate and then uh, came out and was trailing the field. Was long way off the second last toss and eventually finished on a distant last. The winner was Extravagant Star. Number 9 is Impermanence. Impermanence had a solitary start in the monsoon season that was in race number 50. Impermanence was in 6th spot when asked for an effort dropped back slightly. Eventually finished on 8th of 10 runners. The winner here was Golden Light. Eventually had a length and a quarter to spare. That's the lineup for the day, ladies and gentlemen. See you at the races and good luck.